So step number one is to, first of all, identify what your maintenance calories is. This is the most important number that you need to know in order to start any journey, whether it's muscle gain, fat loss, right? Because without knowing how much your body actually requires to just maintain its body weight, it's going to be difficult to put yourself in either a surplus or a deficit, depending on your goals, right? So first and foremost, identify your maintenance calories. And now if you have no idea what your maintenance calories are, a quick little format I could give you is take your body weight in pounds and multiply it by 15. That will give you your rough estimate of your maintenance calories. And now I want you to take this number and just start tracking your food. So let's say you're 200 pounds, you multiply it by 15, I think you get around 3,000 calories. So with that number, just loosely track that, right? Eat those 3,000 calories for around one or two weeks and see how your weight fluctuates, right? If you're eating 3,000 calories as a 200 pound meal, and you notice for the next several weeks, your weight kind of maintains. It's like, boom, congratulations, you have found your maintenance number, right? Now that you have found this, your maintenance calories, you can either add more calories if you want to gain weight and gain muscle or subtract calories if you want to lose weight, right? Or lose fat. So typically speaking, when it comes to fat loss, um, around 250 to 500 calories below your maintenance is a good kind of ballpark to start. Um, for context, one pound of fat has 3,500 calories. So if your goal is to lose one pound of fat every single week, you have to be in a 500 calorie deficit every single day for the week, right? In order to lose one pound of fat. That's a pretty good spot, right? If you lose around one or two pounds of fat every single week, um, that's pretty solid, right? Like if you just are patient with this. And if you think about it, it's like losing one pound a week for the next year, 52 weeks out of the year, you're going to be 50 pounds down. And not just are you going to be able to lose that 52 pounds, but then on top of that too, because you actually took your time with it, you did it slow and steady, you're going to be able to preserve most of your muscle mass, if not hopefully build some muscle mass. But then also, as you go through this journey, you're going to be able to make, build the habits to not just lose the weight, but then actually keep the weight off, right? And that right there, that is the most important part.